How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So let's say you wanna buy a new iPhone. And one of the most common questions is, should I get the higher end, bigger storage option, or maybe the lower end, smaller option of that iPhone model that I want? And this is so, so common. Many, many people really believe they should always get the lower end and save some money, but other people really, really believe they should get the higher end because it has many advantages. And the thing is, there are quite a lot of myths regarding the subject. So today I'm gonna tell you what I think and I'm gonna explain you the reality. Let's go. So there are actually two huge myths when we're talking about iPhone storage. And myth number one has to do with performance. And many, many, many people think that if they get the higher end, a bigger storage option, they're getting the best iPhone. Uh, and I'm talking about the exact same model. So many people think that if you get an iPhone 13 with 128 gigs or an iPhone 13 with 512, the 512 option is actually a better iPhone. Like it's faster, it has more performance, it's somehow really an upgrade, but not only when we're talking about storage, but in everything else. They think it's actually a better performing iPhone. And that's a huge myth. That's not true that doesn't exist and you shouldn't think about this. What we actually have is a difference in read and write speeds, but that's only theoretical. That's only when you're testing geek benching and things like that, but you don't notice that in real life. Trust me, I've had dozens and dozens of iPhones over 10 years of experience and I've tried this uh, with ever since the iPhone maybe 4 all the way to the 12 Pro Max and I could never tell a difference when you're talking about performance or speed. Nothing will load faster, nothing will perform better just because you have an iPhone that has more storage. Okay, so that's myth number one. Don't think this is true, okay? Myth number two is the fact that many people think that if they get an iPhone with more storage, they won't need to actually pay iCloud. So uh, they're actually paying more for more storage, but then they're saving money in iCloud because they have so much storage that they don't need iCloud. And that's partially true, that's not 100% true, because what you save money, and then you will save a little bit money maybe, is in iCloud Photos, because since you have so much storage, you don't need to use iCloud to store your photos, you can save them locally in the iPhone, you don't need to store your photos in the cloud. But there's something called backups, and most of us, pretty much everyone that has an iPhone, will use iCloud to perform their backups, to save all of their files, in iCloud, so then if you have any problems, if you change your iPhone, if you replace it, whatever, you can get all your information back via a backup, all right? So it doesn't matter if you have a one terabyte iPhone 13 Pro Max, it doesn't matter, you still need a backup because you need to save those files uh, somewhere else, not on your iPhone locally, all right? So it doesn't matter of how much storage you have, you will need to get iCloud for your backups. Now, let's do some math and let me make this even clearer for you on how you can save so much money just by not spending money on storage. So let's make a quick example. Let's say you wanna buy an iPhone 13, newest iPhone, you wanna get it, and the base price for 128 gigs is $799, right? Now, let's say you wanna get the higher end with more storage, which is the 512 gig option iPhone 13. And then you're paying 1,100, so $1,100 for the exact same iPhone 13 with more storage. With that money, you can buy an iPhone 13 Pro Max, the highest end, top of the line, flagship iPhone. So you're spending the same money, but you're getting so much more iPhone with that money. Let's say you wanna buy an iPhone 12, and then it goes on and on and on, right? So uh, you're gonna, if you wanna get the baseline 64 gig iPhone 12, you're paying 699. If you wanna get the highest end 256, you're paying 850. With those 850, you can buy an iPhone 13 and save 50 bucks. So then you're getting a newer iPhone, newer generation iPhone, much better iPhone, and then you're saving 50 bucks. And as I said, this goes on and on for the iPhone 11, 10R, 10. Um, if you want to get like used iPhones, it's always the same. You can always 
choose to get the lowest uh, option the lowest storage option iphone and get a better one instead of spending more money on storage on the one you want let's say and obviously you also have the option of not spending more money of keeping that money and use icloud so let's use the exact same example you're we using before iphone 13 base storage we're talking about 7.99 you can keep paying 7.99 you don't need to pay more you can pay 7.99 you don't need to pay 1100 dollars you pay 7.99 and then you can use icloud you can subscribe to icloud plus and then you can pay 99 a month 99 cents a month or 2.99 a month let's say it will depend a little bit on your uh, on your need or on how much you need so that'll be 12 to 36 dollars a year and then you can use iCloud Plus to store your photos. Uh, so then you don't really need uh, to pay so much more money in storage because you can use iCloud to do that. And of course, you will take advantage of iCloud backups and other services that iCloud provides, like the new features in iOS 15, which are hide my email and even private relay. New features, I have a video on this as well. So if you don't really know what I'm talking about, you can click on this card right here and get to you know these features, which you can get when you subscribe to iCloud Plus. So then you have two options when I'm talking about buying a new iPhone. And this is the conclusion, this is the verdict that I wanna give you. Uh, option number one, choose the iPhone model you want and get the lowest option, the low storage option. So then you're saving money and you can use iCloud Plus to store all your data, backups and everything. You won't be short of storage, trust me. Option number two, uh, get the iPhone that you want and think about its price when you're going full storage, but don't get this iPhone. Get the better iPhone, use that exact same money and get the next generation, uh, the upgraded version, like in the examples I was giving. So when we think about it, there's never a scenario which is better to buy higher storage options. It's always best to get lower storage and even save money or lower storage of an upgraded iPhone, a better iPhone, which will be much better for you, trust me, right? So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Also click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And also hit the comment box down below and tell me what you think about this whole thing. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I always love to hear your feedback. That's what's most important, all right? So that's it. And I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.